we are picking up a very important chapter of this textbook that is sale tax and VAT. Believe me, it's the most important chapter. Now you must be thinking what is sale tax and VAT. As the name suggests, sale tax is a tax on the sale of the product. The more the sale, the more the tax. No sale, no tax. But who pays it? But obviously the consumer, the buyer. When he goes to buy the product in the market, the moment he buys the product, he has to pay the tax on that. That tax is nothing but what? Sales tax. Now this differ in different states. Every state has got its own rules and regulations for charging what? Sales tax. Plus it also differs from product to product. Different products have got different sales tax. I mean to say rate of sales tax. But one question comes to my mind. A consumer is paying the sale tax, correct? When the consumer will pay the tax? When he goes to buy the product? In short, if he doesn't buy the product, no tax. So can't I say it's a buying tax? If you go to buy the product, you pay the tax, yes or no? If you don't buy the product, no tax. So shall we change the name of the chapter instead of sale tax, buying tax? No, my dear, it's not so. You know why? Because the decision making is a government body. The government decides the sale tax. In actual, the manufacturer pays a tax to the government of India. He is paying the tax on the sale of the goods to the retailer or to the wholesaler. That's why it is known as what? Sales tax. But ultimately, who is the user of it? The consumer. The tax passes on to the ultimate user that is the consumer. From the manufacturer, it goes to the wholesaler. From the wholesaler, it goes further on to what retailer. And retailer finally charges to whom? To the consumer. And this consumer has to pay the tax on buying the product. But it is known as what? Sale tax. Because the manufacturer has to pay the tax on selling the goods to the wholesaler. And which passes on to the consumer. That's why it is known as what? Sale tax. The consumer doesn't make the policies of India. He has to just pay the tax on buying the product. Now, why do we require this sale tax? Why do you want to charge the sale tax? What happens if we don't charge the sale tax? See, if we want our country to progress. We want our country to develop. For this development, for this progress, we require huge resources. There's a lot of expenditure taking place in the development of the country. So, these resources come from the people, from the public, in the form of what? Tax. Less tax, less collection, less expenditure, less development. So I want the country of India to develop for which they want more resources. And this type of resources are collected in the form of what tax? Sale tax, income tax, property tax, etc. Sale tax is a part of what this? Revenue collection format. Now how does it work? That means I'm talking about the sales tax. Now sale tax is charged on the mark price. Mark price or list price or catalog price or printed price, book price, it's all the same basically. Okay, let's take one example. Mark price of a camera is 2000. Rate of sale tax is 10%. Now, how the sum is what formulated, how the things are paid over here, how the government collect the tax, and how much is the price paid by the consumer. So, consumer pays mark price plus the sale tax. That is 2000 plus 10% of 2000. That is 2000 plus 200, that is nothing but rupees 2200 is the price. So 2200 is the price which includes sale tax is paid by the consumer, which includes the amount of sale tax, and this sale tax goes to the government of India. This is the application part of it. Now let's start solving problems on sales tax. See the sum given to you. The mark price of a camera is Rs. 1600 and if the rate of sale tax is 10%. Now in this chapter don't say 10% per annum. Once you buy the product you have to pay the tax throughout the year. It's not per annum. Rate of sale tax is 10%. Find the sale price of camera. Now, how do you find the sale price? Sale price is mark price plus sales tax. 
and the rate of sale tax is given to you 10%. So straight away 10% on the mark price. That is nothing but rupees 1600. So let's see what is given to us. Mark price that is MP is equal to rupees 1600. Rate of sale tax is 10%. Finding the sale price that is nothing mark price plus the sale tax that is 1600 plus 10 percent of 1600 and 10 percent of 1600 is rupees 160 so you add them together you club them together and what do you get 1600 plus 160 that is rupees 1760 so rupees 1760 is nothing but the sale price of the camera The next problem says that a stationary item is available for rupees 960.50 paisa. Now let's see whether it includes a sales tax or not. Because if it includes sales tax, that means the sale price is given to you. Let's read the sum. Which includes sale tax, yes. And anything which includes sales tax is nothing but what? Sale price. In short, 960.50. 50 paisa is nothing but sale price. Further see, let's see what's given. If the printed price is rupees 850, printed price, mark price, list price, catalog price, all these are same thing. And in short, the mark price given to you, rupees 850. Find the rate of sale tax. Now to find the rate of sale tax, there is one formula. Rate of sale tax is equal to sale tax upon mark price into 100 we have the mark price but we don't have the sale tax so let's first find the sale tax now how do you find the sale tax sale tax is selling price minus what mark price let's check do we have selling price and mark price both yes we do have both of them sale price is 960.50 paisa and mark price is what rupees 850 let's check them and subtract after subtracting, see what we get. Sale tax is equal to 960.50 paisa minus 850. That gives me rupees 110.50 paisa. This 110.50 is nothing but sales tax. Now this sale tax will be useful in finding the rate of sale tax by using the formula. That is, rate of sale tax is sale tax upon mark price into 100. That is nothing but 110.50 upon 850 into 100 for the simplification gives me 13 percent now this 13 percent is nothing but rate of sale tax Now we see the next problem. Let's check it out what is given over here. We read the sum. A shopkeeper marks his good 40% above the cost price. A very clever shopkeeper. At whatever price he gets, he marks his goods 40% above the cost price. And then let's see what he does. And then sells them at two successive discount of 5% and 8%. So after marking the goods 40% above the cost price, he gives a discount of 5%, then what 8%? Let's see furthermore what is given. 
if the article cost him 6000 now this 6000 rupees 6000 is the cost price find the selling price of the article excluding sale tax now what do you mean by excluding sale tax so we have to take the mark price first discount second discount now that price will be what excluding sale tax because sale tax comes after charging the discounts so always first is the mark price then the first discount and the second discount if given and then we add sale tax to come to the selling price that means in short the first part says find the price of the product without sale tax in short including the first discount and the second discount let's go ahead first find the mark price now see the cost price given to you rupees 6000 first discount is 5% and second discount is 8% now first of all we find the mark price mark price is cost price plus 40 percent of the cost price because he is marking his product above 40 percent of the cost price that is 6000 plus 40 percent of 6000 that comes to 6000 plus 2400 that is nothing but 8400 so 8400 is nothing but the mark price and after marking the goods for 8400 he gives two discount finding the price after the first discount that is of 5% 8400 minus 5% of 8400 that gives me rupees 420 so 8400 minus 420 will give me rupees 7980 rupees 7980 is the price after the first discount we have to find the price after the second discount that is of 8 percent that is 7980 minus 8 percent of 7980 that gives me after simplification 7980 minus 638.40 naira paisa that further down gives me 7341.60 paisa now this is a price after the second discount and after this the sale tax is charged the second part of the question says find the price including sale tax of 10 percent now i have to find the second part of the question including sale tax that is price after the second discount plus the 10 percent on it that is 7341.60 plus 10 percent of 7341.60 that is nothing but 7341.60 plus 734.16 after adding them together what we get is rupees 8075.76 8075.76 naira paisa this is nothing but the selling price which includes sale tax of 10 percent We pick up a next sum which is really interesting one I really mean it let's read the question what is given to you a color TV is marked for sale the moment student reads color TV is marked for sale they come to a conclusion it's a mark price but it is not so read the full sum very carefully marked for sale for rupees 17,600 which includes sale tax of 10 percent any sum which says which includes sale tax that is the sales price is what given to you 
what's the procedure mark price plus sale tax you get what sale price now we get the sum say includes sale tax that means what is given to you is the sale price so in this sum 17600 is the sale price and the rate of sale tax is 10% what else calculate the sale tax now to find the sale tax i should know the mark price because the mark price and the sale price the last one in between what comes what sale tax mark price plus sale tax is what sale price i do have the sale price but i don't have the mark price so first i'll try to find the mark price let the mark price be rupees 100 so the sale price will be 110 because 10% of 100 is what 10 and when you add them together you get what 110 so if the mark price is 100 the sale price will be 110 but what is the sale price given to you 17600 therefore what will be the mark price with the help of unitary method what you get x is equal to 17600 into 100 upon 110 which further down give me rupees 16000 now rupees 16000 nothing but the mark price so i got a mark price i got a sale price in between what is the sale tax So sale tax is equal to selling price minus what mark price, that is seventeen thousand six hundred minus sixteen thousand. After subtraction, what I get is rupees one thousand six hundred. So what is one thousand six hundred? Is the amount of sale tax. the next problem says that the total cost of a electronic typewriter when they say total cost i am talking about the sale price is rupees 10710 which includes 5% sale tax that is the sale price what is given to 10710 find the mark price so the first target of this sum is to find the mark price let's go on to the assumption method that is let the mark price be what rupees 100 if the mark price 100 after adding the sale tax 5% will get a sale price what 105 let's go for unitary method if mark price what 100 the sale price is coming to what 105 but see the sale price which is given to you 10710 then what will be the mark price let be over here x by cross multiplication we get x is equal to 10710 into 100 upon 105 now this further simplification gives me 10200 now 10200 is nothing but the mark price of the electronic typewriter so this is the first part which is what over let's further read down the question what is given to you if the same product that means i'm talking about the same typewriter with the same mark price that is 10200 is available at 8% rebate now the same product with the same mark price is available with 8% discount and the rate of sale tax remain the same find the new cost that is we have to find the new price of the typewriter after taking the rebate into consideration that is the discount into consideration mark price minus rebate plus sale tax will give me the new price let's start the procedure the mark price given to you 10200 so the price after discount will be 10200 minus 8% of 10200 that is 10200 minus 816 rupees which gives me 9384 9384 is a price after what discount but this is not a final answer because i have to add sale tax of 5% let's go and find the selling price that is 9384 plus 5% of 9384 that is 
9384 plus 469.20 paisa after adding them together we get rupees 9853.20 so 9853.20 is the new price of the electronic typewriter